so many cruel ones, so many of those Ebu Jehil types that there is so many today too. They stood up against to the prophets. Don't think that you are the first one who is standing against to the friends of Allah and every Allah. No. Millions who stood up against the prophets. And not nothing was happening to them. Because the prophets, they were opening their hand and they were only asking help and mercy to them. For them. You remember Nuh salam, you read somewhere, you know, we speak about so many times. That's why his nation, they say, no, they say to Nuh salam, no, we're not going to listen to you. We're just going to be like those people who's coming in Ahizam. The end of the time. As they are doing what they want to do, no borders, no limits, and saying, I do as I like. I am free. Those who's going to claim and knowing Allah and worshipping Allah, they are doing worse than the other ones in these days. Something touches to their ego, right away, they declare war. So that's exactly what they did to the prophets. They attack them, they slander them, they cheat on them, they lie about them. So many things, not one incident. Muhammad al-Amin. Muhammad a.s. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything for his sake. No prophet has suffered much as he did. You know the story that when he was going to Taif, because people of Mecca, they were damaging him in every way, and he's thinking going to Taif and <coughs> saying there is family members there but they may accept what I am saying and it will become easier for them and other people too and they heard they heard that Prophet wasalam, coming to Taif and they didn't want to face him because they know that when Prophet wasalam, speaks, they cannot say this is wrong. They knew that. So they didn't want to speak with him. So in order to keep him away from the city, they send the children, young guys, out of the city, stoning the Prophet wasalam, for him to go away not to come to the city. And they throw so much stones to him that he was bleeding everywhere. And he went out of the town and he took out his boots. There was blood coming. Turning And Jibril alayhi salam coming, saying, Ya Rasulullah, just say one word. Israfil, Mikael, and me, we can turn this city upside down. He opened his hand, saying, Ya Rabbi, forgive them, because they are ignorant. They are ignorant. Forgive them, Ya Rabbi. This is what he did. That's why they were still able to eat and drink. That's why they were still able to run around with their ego up, rising to the skies. Because the one who is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't complain. 
If that one complains, for his sake he will burn not this world, the whole world. He did it. Look what happened to Nuh alayhi salam. Yes. We must take lessons. Don't be arrogant and stubborn. Those ones that they rise against Nuh alayhi salam, they all under the ground. Those ones that they accepted Nuh alayhi salam, they all also under the ground. The ones that they accepted Nuh alayhi salam, They are living in their own paradises there now. The ones that they rise against him, they are going through the same thing over and over, non-stop, same punishment. Until judgment. There is so many also among them calling themselves they are good ones, just like today's people. Don't forget. What makes you so good? What makes us so good? To obedience. Obedience. What makes you dirty? Disobedience. Disobediency makes shaitan dirty. And he has kicked out from the paradise. Disobediency made Adam alayhi salam dirty. He is also put out from the paradise. One kicked out from the paradise. The other one put out from the paradise because he was disobedient. He was disobedient, but he accepted it. He turned around and he understood what he did. And he asked forgiveness. He asked forgiveness for the sake of the Muhammad. And he has been forgiven. In the time of Nuh alayhi salam, he went back and forth to those people, calling them, live your lifestyle, live your ego lifestyle, turn this way, this is what your Lord wants from you. No. They're not listening. They continue living arrogant and stubborn lifestyles. They are not listening to Nuh alayhi salam to follow the orders that he brought to them from our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are saying to him, who are you that we're going to listen to you? He said to them, I'm just another servant. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen me and sending to you messages through me. I am also following these messages and you should be following for your own safety. No, they attack him non-stop. They beat him up. They cursed him. They did whatever magic, whatever thing they did. Nuh alayhi salam was opening his hand and asking safety for them. Non-stop. Going back to them again. Saying to them, this is wrong. Turn around. This is wrong. This action is wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not liking, he is not pleased with this, turn around. They are talking to him again. He is going back asking forgiveness, going back to them, non-stop. As we know, Nuh alayhi salam was a prophet for 950 years, it's mentioned. He lived over a thousand years. And those people, he addressed them that many years. They were living. They lived the same lifestyle for that long. They lived that egoistic lifestyle. And they are saying to him, again, same way, we're not bothering anybody. We are living good life. This is what we like. Just like today's people. Saying we are good. We are good people. We are not bothering anybody. Your goodness is coming. 
through much is obedience you have to your Lord. And it's not only goodness. So many people are good, but so many people are not just. They are not able to keep the justice. You may be good to yourself between you and your Lord, but you are not just with others maybe. So you have to hear and you have to obey to adjust yourself, to fix yourself. And if one has that characteristic, he's fooling, shaitan is fooling from the other side, saying, no, you are right. You are right again according to your ego, <coughs> not according to the knowledges and the orders that the prophets they have brought to us. If that will be the case, you're going to run top speed. No matter what others they do to you, you're still going to run to do good things that time. If you are not doing that, you are not adjusting. So you're not going around bothering others. Yeah. You are only good to yourself. Nobody else. If they release your leash, who knows what you're going to do. Some people, they're not doing it because they don't have the chance in their hands. What do you think you will do if you have the, the treasures of the Firaun in your hand? Hmm. That Firaun will become clean next to you that time. Today is 21st century people. Because 21st century people, they have nothing in their hand and they became worse than the Firaun. Tyrannizing themselves tyrannizing their own children, tyrannizing things around them, and later I am right again. So who is wrong? As we say like last time, Nasreddin Hoca. Always Hoca is wrong. The case has reached to Hoca. He was a judge, and he listened to the one who's complaining and the defender. And the, the complaining once he said this story, and Hoja looked at one saying, you are right. The defender saying, Hoja, you didn't listen to me yet. How come you're saying he's right? He said, wait, I'm going to listen to you too. And he saying, now it's your turn. You say this story. He said this story. He said to him, you are right too. Allah. The one who's listening to Hoja behind saying, Hoja, you make a mistake. You think both of them, they are right. He's looking at that one saying, you are right. So who's wrong? Your ego. You are forgetting your ego. Your ego is partnered with Shaitan. So if you take that in the beginning, you're going to win, definitely. You're not going to come all the way to that road, no. In the beginning you take that and slowly you're going to see the favors of your Lord is going to reach to you from every side, which is still reaching, but through difficult way. That time you're going to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to remove those difficulties that is going to reach to you. Today's Muslim difficulties, they are breaking the dams to reach to them. So what kind of Muslim? All difficulties is reaching to you from every side. Nothing is working. Nothing. Why? Remind, remind yourself to say, to understand that you are doing so many great wrong things. At least Allah is reminding you in dunya to prepare yourself at least for Ahiret. So the prophets came and they suffer a lot. If you are suffering, huh, look how prophets they have suffered. And all those people that they love the prophet around them, not only that prophet. Thank you, Lord.